All right, the circuit that keeps on giving. Uh, so I'll put some links down below. I did a circuit like this. This oscillates and then this drives uh, an output. And uh, we looked at the output and it had a ring on it, which is not surprising, but it had a pre-ring. It had a ring before the rising edge. And people said, where'd that come from? So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at events that happen before the edge. So the edge happens here at one, but there has to be a transition here at two, a low going transition to create a positive edge here. So we can look here to see what happened here. And then the oscillator is actually a ways away from that. So we can look backwards in time. So this is a little, little backwards in time. This is a little backwards in time. And so let's first take a look at, uh, at number one. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to uh, probe the output. All right. And there is our rising edge. So we'll just kind of remember that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in uh, memory one. Okay. So there, that's in memory one. Uh, the scope records these at a very low intensity level. I'll try to fix it up in photo or in, in video editing, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyway, that's it. That is our output. Okay. That is number, that is number one. Let's look at number two, which is the drive to this one. All right. And all right, let's, let's look at this. Oops. So this is the falling edge that goes into the last inverter that creates the rising edge. So let's, Let's put that in memory two. All right, so we have this low going edge um, in kind of green and it creates that, that uh, other red, uh, the other rising edge sort of in a reddish color. All right, and then let's go back to number three, which is the output of the oscillator, which should be again a positive going pulse, which is here. And let's save that into register three. So I think you can sort of see the sequence of events here, right? Um, there's going to be some ground bouncing due to these edges. And the, uh, let's turn off number three here for a second. Oops. So I think you can see that the pre bounciness of the red trace is because of the bouncinesses of the other traces. It's just internal bounciness. You're going to bounce the ground, the return path. You're going to bounce the VCC path. There's just going to be a bounciness in the circuit, a little bit of ringing in the circuit. And that's what causes those preconditions.